Previously on Water Rats. I'm adopted, but I only just got my original birth certificate. That's it. It says there that you're my father. That's great. Isn't it? I, I don't know. I, I just talked to her mother. She confirmed it. I'm her old man. So go and tell her, don't tell me. I can't. It's 18 years, right? That's all of her life. That's a lot of mine. I mean, how am I supposed to tell her about that? It's, it's just... It's just all this time. It's just gone. Have you found my mother? <laughs> and what? It's true. I'm your father. Hey, what about you two with your little underwater dance of love? Where's Lindsay? Didn't you see him on the way up? No. I'm going back down.
Okay, thanks. Lindsay's still in decompression. He's bad. I'm gonna go see him. Well, Stephanie said she's gonna stay at the hospital till his family gets there. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go anyway. Hang on, Lance. Hang on. This gas mix, it's all out. This is for a deep dive. Look, it's 31.2. What? Bloody dive shop. Well, there's your answer. That's how he got knocked at that depth. Well, you think that lets you off the hook? Well, it doesn't matter, mate. You should have been watching him. I was. You left him. He's a novice diver, and you left him to stuff around with your girlfriend. The gas mix was out, Lance. What could I do? Nothing. I signalled for him to come up. He signalled he understood. You could have buddy breathed him up. Don't turn this around on me, Lance. You were supposed to pick them up from the dive shop. That's not the point. You were too busy. He told me it is the point. Mate, the fact is, you left him, and now he's got the bends. I'm gonna go uh, check out the dive shop owner and then work cover. And I'll go see Lindsay, okay? Oh, wait a second, Lance. Sergeant Blakemore wants you guys on standby. She might need you to recover some stolen property. Yeah, right. Lance, yeah. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, listen to this one. We sat in one of the many little cosy nooks this restaurant has to offer. First off, we ordered a grilled polenta with a gooey sauce of mascarpone and gorgonzola. How good to say. Yeah, that sounds right to Alex, me. Alex, right. messages. Oh, thanks, Donna. Well, what about this Friday? Oh, my shout. Yeah, all right. Hey, Jack. Yeah? You feel like grabbing dinner Friday night? Michael Sharp? Oh, yeah. I can drink that mascarpone all night. <laughs> yeah, so can I. Mascarpone's <laughs> actually a cheese, Jack. Okay, it's a date. Hey, listen, Jack, you want to clean up one more year for me, mate? But, but she asked me. Yeah, but tell her you can't come. Yeah, but if she wanted a cosy night for just two, then she wouldn't have. She'd... Morning, troops. Got a job for you. Oh, yeah. Walk through with Brett Kimball. Do you remember him? Brett Kimball? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, uh, he's, he's a funny black Brett. Yeah. They call him the prison novelist. In fact, I want to have a word to him about his last book because yeah. there's a character in it, a detective, Jock Christmas. <laughs> Some resemblance, you think that? No, 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 no. He's a, the guy's a complete bullfed, right? There's, there's no style about him at all. Righty, I Jack. So what's uh, what's Brett up to now? Oh yeah, okay. He's put his hand up for an arms rob. Okay, it's a uh, opal shop at uh, Darling Harbour. Opals? Yeah. No, doesn't sound like Brett. Okay. He's uh, he's in the speed. He was a real, you know, a real bathtub chemist. Um, oh, Jock. Uh, sorry, Jack. Um, visitor for you upstairs. Thanks. Why? I mean, what? Why would a, a, a smart, beautiful young girl like you want to be a cop? Why not? Look, I'm just going to go check out the course they've got at Goulburn, hang out down there for a while with a friend and get a film. Goulburn? Look, I hope you bought some warm clothes with you. So what do you think? Like father, like daughter, what, huh? what do I think? I think you're crazy. Well, I think it's excellent. You know, oh, forensics, crime scenes. Up scenes. up your armpits in it. Look, right? I, I, the I pay is lousy. Half your cases get thrown lines. out of court. And, and the paperwork. Don't even let me start Seriously, on Seriously, I mean, who wants to spend their whole life behind a desk? <laughs> I thought you'd be happy. What do your parents think? Well, I get used to it. Excuse me. Uh, sorry to interrupt, Sophie. Jack, the boat's waiting. We've got to go. I have to go. Me too. It's a long drive. We have to talk. Clean slate, mate. Thought if I owned up to this, I could start over. Maybe even get it concurrent with the time I'm doing now. That way, when I get out, I can settle down and sip vino on the beach with my sweetie. <laughs> she must be quite a girl, the sweetie, yeah? I mean, she's unbelievable. And let me tell you, it's not just the limited romantic opportunities of my current situation to make her sidetrack. So where'd you meet her? Mutual interests, reading, philosophy. Ah, philosophy. Yeah, one thing led to another and everything sort of escalated. Then the contact visits. <laughs> mate, I never thought I'd say it, but I'm gone. 100% head over heels gone. Thank you, linesman. Thank you, ball boys. Jeez, that's beautiful stuff. Smells different to jail, eh? What a day, eh? <laughs> Look at those colours. Makes you think God's an Italian. Oh, you've been to Italy, have you, friend? Yeah, mate. Travelled extensively. Never left Australia. Travelled all over Italy, the mine, mate. Michelangelo, Giotto, Botticelli, Dante, Echo, Cal, Vino. Mates of mine. Every single one of them. Yeah, thank God for the library, eh? Yeah, OK, Shakespeare, let's have a look at your last masterpiece. Yeah, I uh, pulled me balaclava on and I uh, ran in. And I came round the counter here and... Uh, mm -hmm. And... Uh, you were over here, not over uh, there. It's OK, just let him go. Thanks. Yep. Yeah, there was some girl standing next to Till over there. Yeah, that's right, I was over here. 
Yeah. That's and right. you managed to do quite a job on the girl, didn't you? Still having treatment for stress. She can't come back to work. Just uh, hold on, sir. Would you just like him to tell his own story? Thanks. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that, mate. I really am. OK. So what happened then? Uh, <clears throat> then I, uh, I uh, held a gun to her head. So I know you don't believe me, Christy, but I really do feel bad about that woman behind the counter. Yeah, you're right, I don't believe you. So you ran this way? Yeah, onto the wharf, had a boat there. Yeah, it must have been really scary for her, but you aren't going on about it anymore, so, yeah. That's correct. Yeah, sorry if I'm too brief, mate. Words are just my way of getting things out. You're sick of me going on, aren't you? Yeah, you're right there, Brett. Okay, so is this the spot, Brad? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't have much time to think after I saw the police launch, but, but when I looked there, it was a direct line intersecting with that building there. Yeah. Put your flippers on, boys. You find the gun and the opals on the bottom. We might let the divers organise that, Brad, all right? Okay, Gab. Yep. So what did you do next? Hey, cheer up. It's a beautiful day. You know what he needs. Love of a good woman. What I need you to do is stop being a smart ass and just get on with it, all right? So where'd you go next? Someone got out the wrong side of the paddy wagon this morning, eh? Hey, Jack? Yeah. Person looks like they're in trouble. Looks like the uh, tinny's capsized. Help! Help! Okay, Gab, let's get over there. Yeah? Quick home, mate. Hey, does this mean I'm going to be part of a real life rescue? Yeah, yeah, mate. Woo Just take her up. Take her up and get a towel around her. A bit of privacy. Take her upstairs and get you warm. Okay, yeah, Brad, this way. It's not what it looks like, love. They're just a fashion statement. Yeah, yeah, just chill out. Straight up here. Come on, up here. Straight up here. competition. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, my underwear. Sorry? Could you just turn around, please? No, oh, sorry, yeah, sure. Sorry. This is a bad <laughs> Over there, Jack. Over there, Jack. Let's go. Hands on your head, Jack. All right, Jack. Hands on your head, Jack. I'm doing it, Cam. You two chuckles. Oh, come on. It's cool, Rosie. It's cool. Just Rosie, it's cool. Have a snake. Okay. Come on, come on, Brett. Shut up, Shut up, boys. One at a time, you first sad clown. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, buddy. I'm gonna take that handcuff key out of your belt. Just pass it over here really slow. Right, really slow, okay? Right, Shoot, yeah, I'll do slow. it! Okay, shut up, Jack. It's alright, Kevin. That's it. Okay. You don't know what you're getting yourself into, mate. It's okay, Rosie. Shut up. Right. <laughs> Point the gun at him, Rosie. Point the gun at him. Now I want you to line up at the back of the boat. Don't do it all, mate. Just do it. Just do it. All right, well, what are you going to do now? Don't huh? talk, mate. Don't say a word. Turn around and face the back. OK. 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 Come on, move it. Jump. Let's go. Jump. Did a hell of a job, Rosie. Hell of a job. Love you, Rosie. Chapter one in the bag, eh? You right to take these? 
Yeah? <laughs> Let's get started, eh? back in the water and he's got the bends that could kill him. OK, well, what do I do? I mean, do I tell Helen? No. Well, it is for his own good. I just don't want to dob him in. Hey, Woodsy, suit up. They're going to need you for that search. Stolen opals. OK, what about you? Well, I'm not diving. I've spoken to Helen and organised a replacement. Good. So you told her? Well, told her what? I'm just feeling a bit off colour with an ear infection. Hey, Lance. This is madness, mate. You've got to get checked out for the bends. Well, you're the last person to tell anyone anything about diving, man. I'll get Sergeant Rook to call you. Yep, that's Danny from work cover. OK, bye. Work cover? Yeah, that's right. Was that work cover on the phone? Yeah. What did they want? Oh, well, some guy wanted to talk to Lance. Was it personal? Didn't sound like they knew each other. Helen? Mm-hmm. Work cover on the phone. Have there been any reported accidents lately? Uh, no, not that well, I know Well, something slipped through the cracks. And they're looking for Rook. Just try and keep on top of this stuff, Helen, eh? You know anything about this? Um, not really. What does not really mean? Uh, that means I don't really know what's going on, Sergeant. Well, that'd be a first, Donna. I called work cover because I had to check on something. It had nothing to do with the job. You moonlighting? No. No, I took a group out for a recreational dive this morning. Matt and Emma were there. Some of the gear was faulty. Mate of mine, uh, Blacked out from the gas mix in his tank, and then he got the bends from coming up too fast. Oh. Were you with him? Yes, I brought him up when he collapsed. Right, so this other diver has the bends. You went down to get him. What's your status? I'm fine, Helen. I'll go see the Navy doc this afternoon to make sure. Oh, fantastic! How come you didn't see him straight away? This is so irresponsible, and I don't know, it's completely uncharacteristic of Helen, him. Helen, my friend is really sick, OK? And then we got put on standby for the opal search. Oh, look, it all just got shuffled sideways. Shuffled so... I want you checked down immediately. This is really bloody serious, Lance. And I want two opinions. You can go and see the doctor at HMAS Penguin and another specialist of my choosing, and if either of them find out that you've been affected in... Yes, I know. I'm out of the water. You are, mate. How do you anchor this thing? Don't worry about that. Let's go. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, sweetheart. Then a blood loss never hurt anybody. Listen. Sorry to tell you this, old mate, but you're going to have to help me. You can't keep losing that amount of blood. You know, you're going to fall down. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, yeah, keep talking. Cover him, Rosie. If he moves, if he even looks like Bart, shoot him. Ah, oh, good work. Oh, great. Shit, it's broken. It's broken. Oh, listen, excuse me, sir. Because otherwise, because this is an emergency. Look, can I use your phone, please? The police officer. Give me your phone. Give me your phone. Hey, hey. Listen, you pay for this yeah, bomb call, mate. Yeah, just calm down. Hello, Donna, it's Mick. Listen, we've got an emergency situation. The nemesis has been hijacked and we think Jack's been shot. Can you get Jeff for me, please? Slow down, it's not a bloody three-legged race. 
No, get to a doctor, Brett. You're gonna die. Boring, Jack! I know, you know, Rosie knows the danger, Rosie. Such a tough guy, you'll be bleeding with me. Down on the sand. Legs apart, same as before. Keep an eye on him, love. You know what? This is the wrong bloody car! No, 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 it has to be it. Ah, it's the next one round, it's the wrong bloody car! No, <laughs> no, it can't be! The boat! Oh, this is great. Hey, you expect me to swim and carry you at the same time? Another word out of you, Jack, and I'll kill you. What, what are we going to do, Brett? What are we going to do? Hey, it's all going to shit. Shut Razzie. your face! It's all right, Razzie. Razzie, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Hey! Is everything all right? Let's go, round to the next cove now. Let's go, Jack. Cover him, sweetheart. Let's go, Jack. Come on, mate. What do we know about this rosy woman? She's his girlfriend, that's all I got. You couldn't see Jack from where you were on the water. He wasn't standing when the boat drove off. Yeah. You blokes all right? Yeah, you're fine, sir. Yeah. Look, I'm sure Jack will be fine. He's a tough nut. Don't worry about him. You did what you were trained to do. Now, Brett Kimball is obviously well organised. He's escaped from jail before. He'll obviously have some sort of a destination in mind. I think Brett and Rosie have got to have a boat or car waiting for them at the other end. Yeah, so I flicked the UPV on before I jumped off the boat. Well, I somehow doubt that they're planning a cruise on the harbour. Alex, find out what you can about Rosie. I don't know her whereabouts, who she hangs with, yep. anything that can help. Yep. Look, they're retrieving the tinny now. I might go and check out where Rosie hide her from. OK, all right, Mick. Yep, OK, so that's covered the roads. We've covered the major roads, the airports. Sir? I've just had a report of an EPIRB signal from out on the harbour. Excellent, thanks, Dr. Emerson. Right, Sykes, get the location and get out there. What about the opals? They were probably never there. It was a setup for his escape. Hawker just wants you to follow up on this EPIRB and report ASAP. Yeah, okay. Hey, Donna, any news on Jack? Yeah. I have to go. Hey, Donna, is Jack here? I need to speak to him. Listen, uh, we need an address. Um, actually, any information you can give us would be gr would be great. Silver Tinny. Okay. Rosemary Callahan. Uh, would you mind calling us back yep. as soon as you've got that? She'll give you an address. Yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, sure, I'll hold. Alex has got an address. Excellent. Hey, listen, that was the uh, prison. Apparently, Rosie was the librarian. That's how they met. Right? Detectives. Yeah. On hold. Can you do it, please? Yeah. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, hang on. Come on. Come on, I can't go on. I'm bucket. Look, we've got to keep going, Brett. We can't miss the rendezvous. Look, I can't do the impossible. Yeah, you'll bloody do it. Now go, let's oh, go. Come on, Brett. What are you, a couple of quarts short? Come on. Look, OK. What happens if I don't? 
What are you going to do? You going to kill me? Then what are you and Hoplon going to do then? Right, put your hand out, Jack. Put your hand out, Jack. Come on. Now, you don't move. I'm going to shoot you in the hand. You don't move then. I'm going to shoot you in the head. What's it going to be, Jack? So they're armed? Yes. And this um, Brett Kimball guy is he a killer? I mean, what was he in jail for? It was drug related. Okay, he doesn't have a history of violence. So. Do you have any idea where they might be heading? <sighs> There's no way to tell. Look, Sophie, I don't want you to worry, all right? I'll keep you posted. You know, Jack can look after himself. He's a big boy. You know what he's like. No, no not really. I was just getting to know him. I mean, we hardly spent any time together except for that week up in Coffs Harbour when he came to visit. I, I think he's smart, practical, mm -hmm. a bit cynical. I thought you were going to Goulburn. Yeah, 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 I was. My friend's car chucked a spaz, some thingy blew up. I was going to ask Jack if I could stay at his place tonight. I've got, I've got a key. I just feel a bit weird going there without us. Hey, guys, we found the nemesis. Jack on board? No, he wasn't. Look, I'll be all right. I'm just going to hang around here for a while. We're going to find okay. him, OK? We're going to find him. Don't you worry. Hey, Woodsy. Hi, guys. Andy. Okay, well, it's hard to tell exactly where it's drifted from. The tide's been going up for the last couple of hours, so it's a good chance it could be any one of these coves. Okay, thanks, Woodsy. Well, there's a fair amount of blood there. What was he thinking? You know, why don't you just stay in the water? I don't know, Al. Sykes, you get on the blower, get some reinforcements sent over. We're going to start searching all these coves over here. Is that the seaplane? What's going to happen now, mate? What do you want me to do? Piggyback you all the way to your mum's house in Campbelltown? Yeah, it's going to happen. Oh, yeah? you got a backup plan? i got you, babe. <laughs> You've been sniffing too much of those speed fumes, mate. Yes. The plane. The plane. It's gone. It's gone. I saw it fly up, Brett. Brett, Brett, what are we going to do? Pull your wallet out, Jack. Slowly, nice and slowly. One jerky movement, and I'm a cop killer. You feel all right, mate? You're not looking Just too do well. do it, Jack. Now chuck it over here and go and sit over there. Right, pick it up, love. Pull his license out. What are you playing at? I'm not playing, Jack. Oh, really? You're not playing? Huh. Look at you, mate. You're half dead, your plane's gone, you haven't got a plan. What are you going to do? You're a loser. You're a total loser. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jack. Just a bit of dominant male pecking order stuff, that's all. We're going your joint, mate. I'll never think of looking for us there. One down, one to go. The specialist says I'm fine. Let's hope the Navy doctor says the same thing, eh? Yeah. Who's that? It's Jack's daughter. She's been sitting out there for ages. How's your friend? Lindsay. No, he's not good. Still in decompression. <sighs> Shoot of a day, Lance. Still, I guess you can't help bad luck. Sergeant, Mossman Police has just called. A diver witnessed his mate being shot and he's pretty sure it was Brett Kimball and his girlfriend. Right, get on to the detectives, tell them to get out there straight away. I need you out there too. Every pair of hands we can get.
What did the diver have to say? He's pretty shaken up. From what he said, we can assume Jack was here when Rosie shot the other diver. Rosie shot the other diver? Yeah, apparently she was in a real state and Jack was trying to calm her down. Let's hope Jack succeeded. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, the diver reckons that uh, Brett was wounded. Brett was wounded, not Jack? Yeah, so that'd explain why they've taken him with them, you know? They need his help. But why would he stop here for? I don't know. Pick up, you know? Look, I've had a look around and there's a road and some houses just up here. Okay, maybe they were meeting a car or something. Yeah, yeah, let's organise a sweep all the way up to the road. Okay, let's go, folks. We're going to have a sweep right up through the bushes here. Everybody! What if he shouts someone in his houses, Brett? No, nah, he won't do that, love. He's a public servant. He knows if anyone comes for a sticky beak, I'll kill him. Right, Jack? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So stay calm, Rosie. Get up and get in the boot. Come on, Jackie boy. Down. Just want to have a bloodbath, Jack. Let him go. Just let him go, Brett. Fun for the whole family, eh? Okay, you drive, Rosie. Why can't we just leave him? No way. He'll be onto us straight away. We either kill him or we take him with us. There's been enough killing. All right. Let's go, Jackie boy. In you get. Looking a bit pale, there, mate. Okay. Right. Let's hit the road, eh, Jack? Listen, mate, come here. I don't think it's a great idea that you hang around here anymore, so is there somewhere you can go? Somewhere in Sydney? What about Jack's flat, eh? Well, I've got, I've got a key. Oh, God, that's perfect. I'll get Donna to take you there, eh? Gee, <laughs> a messy bugger, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Now look at all that grease. Um, I don't suppose you want to risk a cup of tea or anything? Oh, no, I should be getting back. Yeah. You'll call me if you hear anything, won't you? Of course I will. See ya. Blood seems to be heading in this direction. Where does this track go? Uh, around to another cove. And how far is that? Uh, about two k's, I reckon. We should get the harpy onto it. Yep. Yeah, gave it to Mick. Listen, what's the next cove around? What, fishermen's? Yeah, all right, they seem to be heading in that direction now. I want you to head around there, but be very careful. Right up, Andy! Head into Fisherman! Nine. Fifteen. Seventeen. Nineteen, yep. That's it. Go around the back, love, see if there's a rear entrance. Hey, Jeff, Jeff. I've got the second report here from the Navy doctor about Rourke. He says he could be mildly affected with the bends. Are those reporters gone yet? Yeah. Look, I really haven't got time for this, Helen. I've got corrective services on I the back screaming at me about how I've lost a prisoner. And the commissioner wants to know how I managed to get one of my detectives kidnapped. That's all very well, but I have to know how to deploy him. Has he got the bends or not? He, he said... can't be a little bit pregnant. I want him out of the water. And I don't want to be disturbed unless it's got something to do with Jack. All right? Over there, Jack. 
Modest but clean. Never would have picked you as a tidy type, Jack. Find something to tie him up with, Rosie. And get me a glass of water. I'm dying of thirst. Look. That's a dehydration, Brett. It's a blood loss. I mean, how do you feel? Not as bad as you look, I hope. Piss off, Jack. Let's go, Rosie! You're as white as a sheep, Brett. You, you, your body's shutting down. Well done, Rosie. See, that's why you're thirsty. On your knees, Jack. Facing the couch. Next thing will happen is you'll get a headache. You know what'll happen then? Then you'll start to get dizzy. And everything will start to get a bit blurry. Let's go, Jack. Is that what's happening now, is it? You need help, mate. You need a doctor or you're going to die now. Any prison's got to be better than that, Brett. Don't make me angry, Jack. Oh. You won't live oh. to regret it. Over there. Painkillers, headache tablets and bandages, Rosie. Let's go. Let's go, sweetheart. You're dying, you know. You're dying. Uh, I'll try the bathroom. No, the, the kitchen. The drawers. On the right-hand side, there's a first aid kit. And get me some more water, Rosie. Yeah, is it a go, mate? Sweet. You know the place behind the viaducts? Yeah. How long? Sweet, see you then. Two hours. I got people coming out for dinner. Is that an invitation, Jack? They could arrive at any time. What was that? Listen! Who is it, Jack? Oh, come on, Brett. It's my daughter. She's only 18. Go and get her, love. Go and get her. So help me, Jack, you make a sound. It'll be a double funeral for you and your daughter. Come on, Brett, please. Don't hurt her. Look, she's only young. Look, if you have to kill me, then do it. But just take what you need and go. Put your hand in the air and don't hurt me. What's going on? Shut up. You read my last book, Jack? What? There was this dim-witted copper I based on you. Jock Christmas. Except you're nothing like him, Jack. I was just filthy at you for busting me last time. Revenge by literature. Jack. Sit down. You're right. Jack, are you all right? I'm sorry, Jack. I'm sorry. Does anyone know you're here, love? No, no one, I swear. What is this? Just your dad bringing some work home. Nothing? Nothing. Well, you two take off over here. Mark and oh, Brian, can you off. check down over there? Yeah, Sykes here. Right, good. We'll we'll, uh, we'll finish up here and then we'll check it out. Great, thanks. Here. This is Jax. Oh shit. This doesn't look good. What do you mean it doesn't look good? Well, it's Jax's wallet. Anything good will happen to him. What a stupid thing to say. We're not giving up on Jack. Oh, I wasn't saying we should give up. Sounded like it. You know what, Lance? You're really starting to piss me off. Be about time for you to hook up with your girlfriend and leave us in the lurch, wouldn't it? Don't embarrass yourself, Quinn. You've already done enough of that for one day. Know better than that. Spare me the lecture, Gavin. Who started that? Who started? He's been writing me all day. I'm telling you, Matt. If you get charged with striking a superior officer, oh. you are in big shit. Do you hear me? 
Hawk is talking to the press now. They are convinced that it's Jack that's been killed. He'd want to squash that fast. Oh. If Sophie hears that on the news, she'll freak out. I said I'd call her if anything happened. Yeah, do that, Donna. Reassure her. Any news on this Green Kingswood? Look, it may not be related. I don't know. I don't Actually, know. Donna, look, I'm going to go around there and see you. Can I speak to her? Yep. Thanks. Jack here. Well, I'm not here to be precise, so uh, leave a message and I'll call you back. I'll see you, maybe. What's the plan? What? We need a plan, escape. Okay, I'll tell you the plan. We're going to do everything they want us to do. We're going to wait for them to leave, and we're not going to do it. Stupid. You're a cop. Yeah, yeah, I am. And I want to live. And I want my daughter to live. And we are not going to do anything stupid. Right? Pretty soon now you won't have to whisper, eh, Jack? We don't have any choice. The second test says you could have the bends. Could, not does have the bends. One of the tests says I'm fine, and I know I'm fine, Helen. And the other one casts doubt. <sighs> Rock, you know as well as I do, there is no way out of this. I'm sorry, mate. You can't dive. Hey, you're not paralysed. You're not in hospital. Part of me wishes I was. What happened to your face? Branch out in the bush. Lance, look, uh, thanks a lot for your work out there. You are invaluable. Thanks. Settle down. Sophie! Did they see the car? 